Kubernetes admirers. It's Nicole Wallet from Adisoft. In this video, I will show you several mistakes that uh, these users make when trying to merge satellite images. And in the next video, I will show you several mistakes uh, QGIS users make when trying to georeference that image. So, first mistake is not knowing the extent of your image. This is very basic, but when you go to Google Earth or some other program with satellite images or even Google Maps, you and you turn all identification off, uh, you don't have any reference uh, which uh, area is the beginning and which is the end. And that will complicate your task greatly, especially when going from image to image and you don't know where to stop. That's why the first necessity is to have a reference. In this case I suggest, uh, because I want uh, several villages and uh, towns to be included in this uh, extent, I want uh, to draw a rectangle around them. That's why I chose a new scratch layer, which is a polygon layer in this case, and uh, I will draw a uh, rectangle around all of them something like this and uh, you you will say this is not rectangle I will turn it to rectangle and deleting this part so that's the first step and I want to to check the extent first of course if I omit something important so I will uh, show it in Google Earth So I will trim it a little bit on the left side. Say I will trim it like this. And uh, let's see it again. I will just uh, extend it now. And you make a precise precise rectangle around your extent that's the first step and also the first very important mistake if your extent is not correct you won't be able to make a good image. Second mistake. This concerns Google Earth itself. Second mistake is not having your options right. You go to Tools, Options, and the most important option first is this one. You want to um, reduce the elevation exaggeration. If it's 1, I'll set it to 1, you'll see the difference. You now see the terrain with all of its uh, mountains and so on. And uh, this can uh, force the navigation to tilt as you move. Let's first uh, remove the tilt and compass. And if I am close, if I am zoomed in and I move from one corner of the extent to the next here and I may suddenly find that my compass is tilted again which I must avoid at all costs so if I try again I see that it is slightly tilted so I suggest that uh, you remove that uh, vertical exaggeration from your project by typing 0 0.01 which is the minimum the next important option is uh, by going to navigation to mark this do not automatically tilt by zooming uh, usually it is uh, marked like this and if I move a little bit you see that it is tilted. I have to restore it. 
so this is wrong again. The correct option is uh, to go to tools options and to choose this. Third mistake, not planning your zoom right. If you go with a big zoom like this, uh, with a large uh, distance, you will notice that it takes fewer images to make your extent. The drawback is that your detail will be very slight. And for instance, I am interested in this area and in this area. And if I zoom, I will see, but if I zoom with this resolution, it will be smudged. That's why you should plan your zoom distance first. Let's say, uh, see the area of interest. Something like this, I don't think more. And you take this zoom. See the beginning. Like here. See the beginning and uh, start georeferencing. Do not be too zoomed in because it will take too many images to merge later and do not be too zoomed out because it will be smudged when you zoom in in QGIS later. That's the third mistake. Always begin with the neutral compass. That means uh, you go to view and you go to reset and you reset tilt and compass. The shortcuts are N U R. You press these three buttons and it will reset all of these components. And the last mistake uh, I want to mention here, the fourth mistake, is that you do not turn off the unnecessary items first. You go to view and uh, you will actually turn off the status bar in the bottom and also I suggest uh, you turn off the navigation of course because this part is necessary part of the image as for the bottom part we will cut it from here on and um, again you if you have a sidebar like this you will turn it off or toolbar, you will turn it off. And uh, the fifth and last mistake uh, will be, of course, not making sure that the images have enough in common. This is the one of the images, I've already taken it. And in the next image I want, uh, because I'm moving to the right, I want at least 25% uh, to be in common. So I will make sure that this point is included. I move to the right and that's a good extent of course. I will print screen and save that image. I will be mistaken if I make uh, the extent uh, from this image to the next if I include only this point. If I go from here and I include only to here. This is too small for instance. I want to include a little bit more from to this tree. It's good enough. That will simplify the merging process later. So bear it in mind when doing this. I will tell you a few mistakes when merging the images in the next video. It's Nicole Rale from Adisoft signing off and wishing you success and inspiration in your GIS practice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next